Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I've got another great side I want to share with you today, and this one is for my take on Parmesan garlic roasted potatoes. And you can do this dish inside of the oven, but I'm telling you, if you'll go ahead and fire that grill up, get these potatoes out on that smoker, put a little bit of smoke on them, it's gonna add a whole nother little uh, level of flavor to the outside of those potatoes, it's gonna make them great. Plus, you're cooking outside, that's always fun. I've just got some red new potatoes. I bought about a three pound bag at the grocery store and I quartered them. It's real simple. You can use any kind of potato there you like, but I like the, the little new potatoes. Then I took a pound of bacon and went ahead and browned it off in the oven. Get a pan, just a regular sheet pan, cover it in foil. Get that bacon on there, about 425 degrees. It's done in about 15 to 20 minutes. Now, why did I cook that bacon? Well, not only are we gonna add that bacon with the Parmesan cheese and the green onion at the very end of this recipe when the potatoes are done, I wanted to use some of this rendered bacon fat to season these potatoes. I'm gonna to toss them in a little bit of olive oil and a couple teaspoons of that bacon fat. And that's what's gonna make these uh, herbs and the salt and pepper and the garlic stick to the potatoes while they're out on the smoker. So I'm using that same pan that the bacon cooked in. Just let it cool. You want to get your potatoes on the pan, spread them out. We're going to hit them with a little bit of olive oil. We're going to give them a little drizzle of that good bacon fat too. And at this point it's still warm so it's real flowing. If it gets a little thick on you, go ahead and just pop it in the microwave just a second to loosen it up. I just want the flavor of that bacon on these potatoes. Now we're going to season them. Real simple. Salt. Choose a good coarse kosher salt. Potatoes can take it. Then black pepper. <clears throat> now I took a whole head of garlic and about half of it I chopped up pretty fine and that's what I'm gonna just kinda scatter around. But the rest of the cloves I left whole because I like roasted garlic too and it just, man, it, it, the garlic just gets a real golden color to it. It has real sweetness and it, man, it's just delicious by itself. So I always just scatter them around too. Those are just little cook treats. And last but not least, we've just got some parsley that we've chopped up. That's the herbs going on these potatoes. Now the Parmesan and the bacon will come in on the back end. Right now we just need to get these tossed a little bit and then out on the smoker. So let's just move them around a little. Doesn't matter if some of them skin up, some of them meat up. That looks good. Let's talk about how we're gonna cook these today outside. Now I've got my smoker fired up. Today I'm going to be using my pellet cooker. You can use whatever kind of pellets you like. I like to use a fruit wood with potatoes, something mild. It's not going to be too strong. I'd stay away from the hickories and the oaks, the, har the harsher uh, smoke because uh, the vegetables are light and they'll really absorb it. So you don't want to put too much. So today I'm using a cherry pellet by Barbecue's Delight. I've got the smoker set at 300 degrees. It's okay if it goes up to 325 in that range because we're just cooking potatoes at this point. You just want to get them out there, get the lid closed, let it go. So let's take these outside, get them on the smoker, and we're just going to start checking them about every hour. All right, so we're out here at the smoker. And at this point, it doesn't matter what kind of cooker you got outside. As long as you're holding that 300 to 325 range, it's perfect. Just get you a fire going, get a little bit of wood on there, and get your potatoes on the grate. Well, these probably take about an hour to an hour and a half. I mean, since we've quartered them, they're smaller, it's not gonna take them um, as long. So just check them, you want, it, you want them to be fork tender, you want them to be soft. So get the lid closed, 30 minutes, come out and take a look at them. If they need flipping over, go ahead and flip them. But this isn't rocket science, we're just cooking potatoes here on the smoker. Stick around, we'll show you how we finish them off. All right, the potatoes have been on about 30 minutes. I just want to just come out and keep, keep an eye on them and just kind of keep them moving. We don't want them to stick. They're not going to with that olive oil and bacon fat on them, but. They're still pretty firm, so they got a ways to go at this point. So probably another 30 minutes, we'll come out and look at them again, see where they're at. Smelling awesome though, that garlic, that bacon smell. I mean, you just get all that when you're on the smoker outside. All right, these potatoes have been cooking for about an hour and 15 minutes total. And they're starting to get to where I want them. I just want to make sure some of them are kind of soft. And when I take that fork and put them and mash them, I know that they're tender enough. That's what you're looking for. We may let them stay on here just a few more minutes, but I'm, they're starting to get really tender, and that's that's all I want. I want that outside to kind of get that golden color. 
they're roasted now or smoked like I like to call them we're gonna let them go another 15 minutes we're gonna call it an hour and a half all right an hour and a half of smoking and these potatoes are done now I'm just moving them to a platter get them all on the platter here and we're gonna show you how I finished these Parmesan garlic smoked potatoes off and don't don't forget any of these little pieces of garlic because those are delicious now while these potatoes are still hot you want to hit them with the Parmesan cheese and the heat will kind of melt the cheese a little bit Parmesan's a dry cheese so it's not really gonna get real uh, melted like cheddar or something would but it really makes a good potato you didn't think I was gonna forget that bacon that we did earlier I'm just gonna to top the bacon in with the potatoes so when the guests get a bite, they can get a little of the bacon too. And last but not least, just a little green onion for a little color on top. Parmesan garlic smoked potatoes. How to barbecue right style. Let's check one of these potatoes, see how they taste. Get a little bacon with it. Potato flavor comes through, but you can really taste the bacon, the smoke from the grill, the Parmesan cheese is nice right there with it, and the garlic's the last thing. Now, I hid a little piece of garlic over there, and that's really what I'm going after. One of those, man, that's, that roasted garlic's where it's at. Hey, so if you're looking for another side dish, you gotta give these smoked potatoes a try. You're gonna love it, I promise you. Hit, the, hit them with the bacon grease, Hit them with a little of that olive oil, get some moisture on them, get them out of the pan seasoned up. It'll blow you away. If you like what we're doing, subscribe to our channel here. We're going to put out more great videos like these sides and other meats all year long. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter. We'll see you next time.